Right, we're going to cross the road, it's going to be really wet. Go! Ah! Wow. I'll take a video all the way in and then we'll like proper speed it up and it'll look well cool. Just don't get in the way. So we've had breakfast. It's eventually stopped raining, which is nice. We've just been to the Anglican church. Yeah, Met a very been. lovely lady. Yeah, it was, uh, it was good. She was it? very it was helpful. First, first Anglican church. Uh, built in Southeast Asia, so interesting, and it was beautiful, wasn't it? And it's got what's it called? It's been awarded with a oh, a national Malaysia have given it a national heritage site. So yeah. there you go. It was worth a little visit, wasn't it? Definitely. Yeah. So we just got the bus. So it took about forty minutes to the Penang Hill like station, which is at the bottom of the hill, and then we just bought our tickets which were about five pound each and we're about to get the train up to the top of the hill i think So we just got the train up from the bottom. Now we're at the top of the hill, aren't we? Yeah. And the views are spectacular. They are stunning. You know what, Soph? You know what's coming next? What? The dramatic music. You are what I waited for, oh. You make me touch the sky when I'm down. As you can see in the back, little man with birds. He was just a man with a snake, which I don't like. Uh, but yeah, he's doing a little show now. Um, not sure what he's going to do with this bird. I feel like he wanted it to fly, but it didn't fly. So now he's just cuddling it. Yeah. Bit nervous. Do you think it's his bird? Just waiting for him to do something with it, but. They think he is. Sorry about that, folks. Oh, what's oh he he's gone. Next? Right. Let's see what he brings out next. Right. He's just brought out another bird. He's got two sat on his arm now. This one's quite big, actually. A bit colourful. Yeah, so um, it's about ten pounds each, um, but it looks like it's quite. It's about, uh, I think, just under two kilometres to walk, and it's got like different activities along the way. Looks really cool. Yeah, um, yeah. In particular, there's a couple of really cool spots, isn't yeah. there? One was like a viewing platform that's like above the, like the forest. So I think that'll be really good. In um, the sliders. In the sliders, yeah. Sliders was a bad choice today, but on we go. Um, will we meet a monkey? Probably. But here we go. We paid for it. <laughs> you go there's no way i'm already so still burning 
So hold me close Now baby I do what I'm told Still learning To take my chances To take my time To keep on dancing To walk that line Yeah, you got me shifting The paradigm Right, excuse the building site at the back but we're at uh, location number two on the walk which is the Canopy Bridge So we're halfway along the Canopy Bridge and it's spectacular here. It I don't think the camera does it justice, does it so far? The views are just spectacular and it is amazing. Just being in this forest, the views just spectacular. Anyway, on to the next place. Invite, let me wrap my arms around you. Cause I can't go home without you And my heart just vibe with you, babe Wanna go sky high with you, babe Gotta bring you close to tell you That you're my life Right, the next one The butterflies And there is a few here, I think Oh Let's get some close-ups And I got to tell you If you didn't know on flying squirrels, Sophie? Uh, feeling positive, looking forward to my first encounter. Really? Yeah. I'm a bit nervous. If it was a bat, I'd probably say no. They look a bit like bats. Yeah. So you just found out on this little uh, information board here, the canopy we just walked across before is actually the world's longest two-span stretched ribbon bridge. There you go. Right, this is another stage on the journey. In my bag. The viewing deck. That jumps. Right, so it's got something in a bag. It's gone. Well, you dealt with that so well, so. Thank you. I expected oh. maybe a bit more screaming. No, no. I'm, I'm cool one, as a cucumber. One with nature these days. You look at you and your flying squirrels. <laughs> so, so it's a bit gutty because on this canopy, you see this bench. I think that's supposed to actually be a swing. The sofa absolutely loves a swing. So um, she's a bit gutted, but I have a sneaky suspicion there's one further down the trail. So don't worry, Soph. We will get you a swing to sit on. It didn't take long. She's happy, she's found her swing. Lovely. Right, come on. Of a membrane that stretches along each side of my body. So. Do you think it's camouflage? The next animal, a flying lizard. Is that one? Oh no, it's a lizard. <laughs> Thoughts on a flying lizard, Soph? No. Ooh. There's some questionable noises as well. Why, why does everything fly here? Right, we've um, we've picked up the pace quite significantly because uh, last time we saw said have a snake. Snakes around. So we are picking up the pace. So the next attraction is that bridge up there where we are heading. I think it's going to be a good view from up there. Hey. So, we're nearly at the top of the canopy now. Looks pretty high up. And we've got to walk up all these steps to get up there. It's going to be good though. Safe, safe, safe's gone ahead. Not waiting around, is she?
we have reached the top and it is magnificent look at that wow so the floor is uh, like a grated floor which i'll try and show you without dropping it all the way down so it's getting nervous um it's a bit a bit nervy isn't it actually when you start walking actually. on it but it is spectacular up here and i love it i love it this is what we paid the 10 pounds for wasn't it so yeah it was not for the scaring for our life because there's snakes about or flying squirrels it's for this for the views we're above the forest Right, next attraction, we've got another one of say favourite swings. For this one, it's pretty epic. This is really good, isn't it? Yeah. Wait till you see the view we've got from here. Show you. You are what I waited for, oh. You make me touch the sky when I'm down. Cause when I'm with you, I'm fine. When you go, I'm sad. I like my life with you. It just looked kind of perfect, it looks like that's cool. I've gone 70% chocolate. And I've got the Lotus Biscoffs. Right, the ice creams are basically gone. So, what do you think? Incredible, best ice cream I've ever had. Wow, we say that about a lot of things, don't we? Yeah, but I actually think this one. I would agree. Like, it was amazing. The cone by itself is just amazing isn't it yeah like, it tastes a bit like honeycomb yeah i thought but it, it's definitely the best cone yeah i've ever had amazing. Ice cream. and then the ice cream itself is fantastic yeah and it's, it's not it's not crazy in price but no. while we've been sat here eating at least three four cars apart for people coming just and every time we've walked past it it's like usually queued out queue outside um so it, it's called hemma hemma i think you pronounce it Nice. You've Check got to come out. here, you've got to come here, but just be aware, it it's does. closed on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesdays. Yes, and if I, it sells out, it closes. Yeah. It is open until 10pm, isn't it? Yeah. If there's sort of ice cream. Yeah, we came at like 7, did you say, on Sunday, the night, and it was shut. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's you've got to come here if you come to Penang, and if there's a queue, it's worth the wait. Absolutely, and get the coat, not the child. Yeah, definitely get the coat. Right, we're back at our favourite food hall. The Red Garden, Penang. Trying something in, new tonight, aren't we, Soph? Yeah. Well, actually, mm. we started with some more spring rolls for Soph. They've gone down the tree. But now, we've got, this is called clay pot uh, pork rice. And it's cooked in a clay pot? Yeah, <laughs> that's where the name comes from. Uh, it looks really hot at the moment, but basically it just looks like really like flavoursome rice um, with lots of pork over here it looks spicy I think and an egg in there as well actually because yeah. why not eh why we'll, not? we'll let it cool down and we'll try it our next dish has right. also arrived our next dish has arrived this is some sort of pork and noodles it's supposed to be. noodles are fantastic I would say <laughs> the amount of pork you get does look a little bit ridiculous I mean, for the price, it was only seven ringgit fifty, which is really, really cheap. So it shouldn't be too. But they are tiny pieces of pork, aren't they? Yeah. But again, we'll give it a try. We'll let you know. Right. We've we've eaten our mains now, uh, and I thought let's just do a little wrap up of each dish. 
So start with orange juice, fresh orange, very nice. Not much to say about that. Right next here, so we went for clay pot. I mean, that doesn't look great. What? No, but I think I think people understand that's you know, the pot has been cooked in. It was lovely. It came with so it's uh, rice with like pork, but the pork was really nice. And it's obviously I feel like it's probably slow cooked in that clay pot, and it um, yeah, the flavour was amazing. Lots of pork in it, lots of rice, and an egg as well, which was nice. Next dish, so the spring rolls. There's well and truly nothing left on that plate. They were fantastic. They were. They are nice. They are nice. They are nice. Ten. Um, with the pork and rice, the, the um, clay pot pork rice. Got this. That came with the noodles. Did it? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Right. Error, error. The next thing we had was the noodles with pork on that you saw with very minimal pork. What was there tasted really good, didn't it? Yeah, fantastic. Really nice. Just give them a bit more of it. Um, but the noodles also tasted great, didn't they? Yeah. And with it, all for the price of seven ringgit fifty, is this like chickeny brothy soup kind of thing with two dumplings. And what was in your dumpling? I could not tell you what was in the dumpling. They, they, they weren't like there wasn't a lot of flavour. That's why it's difficult to tell what was in it. But they, they, they were nice. They were pleasant. Nothing to write home about. So still got hers to watch and hers to eat. And what are you having for pudding? Shaking her head. And we have ordered our pudding, and we are come back to the Chris, Chinese crispy pancake yeah. in chocolate and peanuts and banana, banana. Yes. there we are wrapped up so we've just had pancakes to end our dinner. yeah you saw the pictures of them the night before didn't you? so we didn't need to see it again but how good are they so fantastic i had banana and chocolate we had two each side didn't we yeah we did <laughs> maybe tomorrow night we'll up it to throw <laughs> And what did you have? What do you have, sorry? Chocolate and banana. Oh yeah. I had one that was chocolate, peanut and banana. And the other one I had... Was rogue. <laughs> brown sugar, peanut and banana. Both. But no chocolate. No chocolate in the other one. Brown, basically, one so with brown sugar and one with chocolate. chocolate. It wasn't dry though. It wasn't. Was it crispy, like I said on the one? Ago? Crispy, but the filling, because you have the banana, it's always pretty soft inside. Anyway, it's... they were brilliant, and we just said it's probably the best way you can finish off a meal, isn't it? And he just always, the amazing thing about it is that he delivers it, he runs over to the table with his little jog, doesn't yeah, he? And yeah. then he just smiles, and He's the man a... does not yeah, stop oh, yeah. smiling. He looks like the happiest man in the world. Like, if you gave him a compliment, he couldn't smile more because he's already smiling so much. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he does. He, he's, he basically has the store on his own, so he has to like make the pancakes, but then also go and take them out to the tables. So he just like makes them, and then like runs out. He literally and puts runs. Them on, like puts them on his table and stuff, and then he like runs back before his the next lot of That's pancakes exactly burn really. or something. It's lovely, but he looks like he absolutely loves his job. And yeah, all he that. does. He's there every night, isn't he? Yeah, he's very very happy guy. He seems. Anyway, um, <laughs> probably probably because he can't keep all his own pancakes. Right, well, we're sat in the airport and we've just come to the end of our trip to Penang. Thought so from Penang? Loved it. Best place we've been. Yeah, it's got everything really, hasn't it? Yeah. Like we start to stay in Georgetown, as you've seen. It's got so many great coffee shops, restaurants, the street art. So many little things you can just go have a walk around and see. But then, like other big things as well, like the Penang Hill. The Penang Hill as well, which I mean, on, you can get a bus really easily. It's like 50p each to get the bus for like 45 minutes, and then you get the cable car. It's really good. I like the beach. But then, yeah, the, the, you've got like some of the nicest beaches we've ever been to, and I don't know. I think it's just probably the time of year that we've got here. But like, there's hardly anyone there. Um, so peaceful, so relaxing. Um, so yeah, I agree, and I'm a great place. But on we go to the next place. Langkawi. Langkawi's next. Oh.